gitu ya. Marvel and Shazam to their limits. But while Carol's experiences with the Phoenix Force and Alice proved she could hold up to Shazam's strength of Atlas, she unfortunately fell a bit short in most other categories. Even her energy absorption powers could only take so much magic before reaching a limit. But hey, Carol got one over him with her hyper-awareness super senses, right? Not really. While Binary could move past light speed, we've already established that Shazam can move much faster. Over 133 quadrillion times more, in fact. And let's be honest, having wise old Solomon telling you any information you need at any point is pretty overpowered. Speaking of which, Carol had enough power to obliterate a planet, but Shazam could punch a black hole into existence. Who even does that? Going off this building's height and the horizon, we determined the size of Shazam and the black hole. He was giant size at the time. With the estimated Schwarzschild radius of the black hole being 526 feet, its mass must be about 238 octillion pounds. The energy to create a singularity of that size would have to be 97 Fo. Uh, Wiz, what does Fo mean? Uh, asking for a friend. It's simple. One unit of Fo is approximately equal to the energy output of a supernova. Holy hell! Are you serious? Who decided this guy can punch with the power of 97 supernovas? That can't be right. Well, we can support this by comparing Shazam to Zeus, one of the six beings he draws power from. At one point, Zeus channeled enough energy to defeat the Shattered God, who had only previously been defeated by the original Big Bang. Okay, but Zeus is drawing power from a bunch of other gods. We can see at least 34 here, and there's probably more. Even if there were a thousand gods involved, this still means Zeus is responsible for one one-thousandth of something comparable to the Big Bang, a universal-scale event. Uh, yeah, I don't think Binary had anything like that up her sleeve. Carol was certainly no pushover, but Shazam had the speed, strength, and versatility to take this battle in the long run. That was one marvelous fight. The winner is Shazam. Hey, don't go away. We're about to announce the next death battle. But if you want the battle music from this one for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link below. Or check out one of those other videos right over there. Uh,